for years, Sam had made it really difficult for the board to actually do that job by, you know, withholding information, misrepresenting things that were happening at the company, um, in some cases, outright lying to the board. Um, you know, at this point, everyone always says, like, what? Give me, give me some examples. And um, I can't share all the examples, but to give a sense of sort of the kind of thing that I'm talking about, it's things like, you know, when ChatGPT came out, November 2022, the board was not informed in advance about that. We learned about ChatGPT on Twitter. Um, Sam didn't inform the board that he owned the OpenAI startup fund, even though he, you know, constantly was claiming to be an independent board member with no financial interest in the company. Um, on multiple occasions, he gave us inaccurate information about the small number of formal safety processes that the company did have in place meaning that it was you know, basically impossible for the board to know how well those safety processes were working or what might need to change. And then you know, a last example that I can share because it's been very widely reported relates to this paper that I wrote, um, which has been, you know, I think, way overplayed in the press. The problem was that after the paper came out, Sam started lying to other board members in order to try and push me off the board. Um, so it was another example that just like really damaged our ability to, to trust him and, and actually only happened in late October last year when we were already talking pretty seriously about whether we needed to fire him. And so, you know, there's more individual examples. And for any individual case, Sam could always come up with some kind of like innocuous sounding explanation of why it wasn't a big deal or misinterpreted or whatever. But the, you know, the end effect was that after years of this kind of thing, all four of us who fired him came to the conclusion that we just couldn't believe things that Sam was telling us. And that's a completely unworkable place to be in as a board, especially a board that is supposed to be providing independent oversight over the company, not just like, you know, helping the CEO to to raise more money.